What's up guys? Just a little update from the camp. So in this video I'll talk a little bit about my training here. I had just finished a 15k fart leg workout. It was crazy windy that morning and I had only had a small breakfast before my run. So I was super hungry when I got home and here I'm having my second breakfast. So some yogurt with fruit, nuts and granola. This past week was pretty eventful. We moved to our new Airbnb on Sunday and then a few days later we started experiencing some issues with the electricity. So our, po our power just kept going in and out and then we were basically without electricity for almost two days. Both Robert and I also had a mild head cold for a couple of days and even though it wasn't that bad, it, it was still just another thing adding more frustration to the week. We also had a couple of days with ab above average higher winds and some rain so that was a little frustrating at times but I guess we got through. Luckily the electricity issue got sorted and we're already back to feeling normal so this week definitely ended on a high note. The sun is shining and it's not raining anymore, thank god. Hi, uh, so it's almost uh, time to wrap up week two of the camp. So basically we've been here for uh, exactly two weeks now, but uh, I'm a crazy triathlete. So I'm basically starting, or I started counting my training weeks from like Monday to Sunday, Monday to Sunday. We've been here for two weeks and two or three days, but uh, I don't count the first couple of days because they were like travel days. So basically, uh, this is almost, uh, it's, it's Saturday, it's almost the end of the second week of uh, training, uh, second week of training camp. Um, and it's been a pretty good two weeks so far. Um, the first week was actually like excellent, I'd say. Like <laughs> I had a very good amount of training. I felt really strong. Um, just generally like everything just went really good. I rode 12 hours, uh, swam 25k and ran 34k and then I did like three or so hours of gym and uh, a little under an hour of yoga. So basically the main emphasis of my camp uh, has been bike volume and strength and then swim volume and strength. I'm running as much or maybe even like a little bit less than I ran uh, in January back home. So I'm basically running three times a week right now. Uh, I've, I've been doing, while here, I've been doing two 10 kilometer runs with uh, little sprints or strides. And then uh, I have one longer run, like about 15K. That is kind of a workout run. So it's uh, the past two weeks I've been doing this special kind of fart leg where I alternate between easy running, threshold running, and then like VO2 max running but very short like segments over and over again and it's been quite hard like I feel like running has been the hardest while being here probably because my legs feel pretty trashed from cycling so much and doing a lot of gym uh, but also because of the wind being <laughs> such a huge resistance so I haven't felt like my best um, while doing my running workouts but I'm also really happy that I've noticed that my body has adapted to the heat and the training volume super well and like the little niggles that I had when I was back home have also started to kind of melt away. Uh, I've also worked with a very good therapist while being here. I've been going to this place called SV Therapies at uh, Costa Tequis and uh, Steve there has been like super helpful at helping me to like kind of get more balanced and like even instead of like kind of like powering with my right side and, and dragging my left side just dragging it along with me so basically all my extra hours are coming from biking and swimming more and then doing more strength training so i'm at, at the moment i'm doing more strength training than running which is a little funny but it is what it is and i think it works for me right now uh the main goal is to stay healthy and 
run consistently, even if it's only 35 to 45 k a week, but I'm running every week, uh, three times a week, uh, and that's what matters. My bike workouts have been basically just like three and a half hours, uh, almost, almost every time, three and a half hours of riding with 30 minutes or so of work. Uh, the first week I had a little bit more variety, so I had one uh, session where I had to do 60 minutes total of low cadence on the hills as kind of like strength focus, just kind of broken up as I felt like it was appropriate. So basically I just did different lengths of like intervals, I did like from one minute to 19 minute low cadence intervals at about like 200 watts or so. Um, then I had a couple rides with 30 minutes of work at uh, 70.3 effort. Um, so basically I, I've been doing them at like 210 to 225 watt range. So we did basically, one time we did five by six minutes, we've done 10 by three minutes, we've done, I think we've done six by five minutes as well. Uh, this week I had 20 minutes of threshold broken up as I wanted. We did five by four minutes threshold. I did like 265 watts for those intervals. Uh, felt really strong, so that was exciting. Well, basically all my rides are just like longer endurance rides with about 30 minutes of work, usually at like 70.3 effort or a little bit faster. And it's been nice because we've been able to utilize all the hills here, uh, just kind of the change in terrain uh, and just kind of like how we want want to ride. I, I, I feel like doing so many trainer workouts uh, during the winter and like, you know, so structured riding all the time, it's been nice for change to have a little bit more flexibility and just kind of not be so crazy about that, that the recovery has to be exactly something and, and the interval has to be exactly something. So it, it's been super nice. And I felt strong. I feel like riding in the hills and, and against the wind has made me a lot stronger and resilient. A 50 meter pool, definitely another factor that's, that I feel like is both causing fatigue, but also like making me feel stronger and faster. I also love that I don't have to flip turn all the time. Uh, and also the pool has been pretty crowded. So the, the, it being long cross meters has helped a lot. Uh, it feels like there's a lot more room in that way. All my swim workouts have been also like kind of more endurance and strength based. I've been do doing a lot of pulling, a lot of longer sets, but then there's also like uh, VO2 max and like threshold intervals sprinkled in between things. So, so I've been doing, for example, like sets of pulling and then a max 50 meter uh, sprint in between and then like repeating that like four times or so. So for example, like 300 meters worth of pulling and then 50 meter max. That's one, set, one example of stuff that I've been doing. Then I've been doing a lot of snorkel swimming uh, for technique. So I think that's been good. Um, I've been actually doing that throughout the winter and I have found it really helpful with my catch. Uh, so I've been doing snorkel swimming and then threshold intervals and kind of alternating stuff. Swimming about 25 to 30 k a week right now while at the camp. Earlier this winter, it was more like 20 to 25, depending on the time, uh, but like here a little bit more. But yeah, anyways, that's a little update from here. We have two more weeks left. Hope you enjoy and I'll keep posting a little updates more frequently now. And thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you later. How's it going? Muy bien. <laughs> Estás bien. I don't know any answer to that. <laughs> Buenas tardes.